Hello, hello. My name is Tal. I'm the marketing manager here at Support Adventure, and I'm currently in Bali. I've been here for one month, and I'm leaving in a few hours, actually, to Korea. And I wanted to take some time to tell you guys why I really do not like Bali, why this place is not the place for me, and some pointers if you're thinking of potentially coming here, being a digital nomad and remote worker. So to be honest, Bali has not been on my travel bucket list, despite traveling Southeast Asia for many years. I was always fearful that Bali would, was overdeveloped, had too many tourists, didn't have that local charm. And a couple months ago, a friend of mine invited me to come and meet them in uh, Bali. And I decided, you know what, hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe I'm full of prejudice. There are many other destinations like Sri Lanka, which I didn't like, but then fell in love with later on, despite my first impressions. So I thought maybe Bali could be one of those places. So I came to Bali one month ago. I spent three weeks in Ubud and one week here in Chenggu. And to be honest, I did not like it whatsoever. I feel like Bali has become really overdeveloped. It's become way too touristy. And there's such a stark contrast between the Bali that people imagine that they see on Instagram and what they actually experience. On Instagram, you see beautiful rice patties, you see ancient temples, you see some really nice Balinese cultural dances and things like that. And that stuff does exist here, but it's so commercialized and it's so kind of being sold to tourists as opposed to something authentic. So there's a very stark contrast between, once again, what you expect and what you actually see here. And touristy shops and boutique shops catering to Western tourists just litter the whole island, no matter where you are, whether you're in Ubud or Semenyak or Changu, all the streets are just a boutique shop, some laundry shop, um, some guest house. Everything is just for tourism. I feel like the local culture has been lost in pursuit for profit. And also the natural beauty of the island has also been really impacted by tourism, where instead of, you know, peaceful, calm rice paddies and nature, you see a lot of roads that are very narrow, that are full of traffic with, with hundreds of, of Western tourists walking around, taking photos everywhere. All the popular spots are really overcrowded with tourists. And a problem with that arises with that is the infrastructure and the traffic congestion and the, the lack of waste management. Like you, you really feel especially here in Chenggu that all of the um, infrastructure is being taken past its limits in a way that's really not working and also the local flora and fauna is suffering so I feel like even when it comes to the traditional ceremonies and rituals a lot of them have been commercialized for tourism like an example that I can give you is that I went to see the Ketchak fire dance which is this beautiful Balinese ceremony with fire and with uh, singing and with using your voice almost as a beatbox for their local customs. And instead of them explaining to us why they're doing this and, and the story behind the dance, they took the time to tell us that they have an Instagram page and we should follow them on Instagram and they're going to have all of their latest shows up on Instagram, which also shows that it's just something that's being marketed towards us as tourists it's being sold to us as opposed to us being invited to really experience their traditional culture so i think that bali really needs to be preserved for future generations but i also feel like bali has reached a point at least southern bali the parts that i've seen that is at a point where where it's already passed being preserved like there's nothing to preserve anymore in changu or semenyak there's absolutely nothing to preserve anymore um, in, in parts of North Bali, the outskirts of Ubud, there's still some beautiful charms. There's some things that I love, for example, the rice paddies that surround Ubud. But in general, Bali was a disappointment. And if you're looking to come to a place where you want to experience the local culture, you want to try some local food, you want to be in pristine nature, I would not suggest Bali. I think that Indonesia has some much better islands than that. For example, I hear East Java is amazing. Sumatra is amazing. Flores looks like unearth-like in its beauty. Um, then there's other countries like Vietnam and Thailand, which could be so much more authentic if you go to the right places, the right islands, the right cities. For example, I like Chiang Mai and Kopangan. I mean, the northeast part of Kopangan where or west actually 
Northwest where it's a lot more hippies and yoga and meditation and that kind of culture, but that's blended with local Rasta culture in Thailand and also just Thai culture in general. And that brings to the last point, which is the type of tourists that come to Bali versus other parts of Southeast Asia, in my opinion. So in Bali, a lot of the tourists here, they want affordable luxury. They're coming from Australia or Western Europe where they can't afford to go to fancy restaurants every day. They can't afford to live in a villa with a private pool and just go to clubs and sip cocktails on the beach while looking at the sunset. So they come here to find all those things that they would want at home but cannot afford or is just unattainable because of the weather and things like that. So they come here and they're looking for that as opposed to looking for a brand new experience, something very cultural and adventure. Those kind of tourists looking for an adventure tend to go to other places outside of Bali. Most of the people that I met here or even just walking around and seeing the type of tourists that you see on the streets, they are not backpackers oftentimes they're not travelers they're just people looking for a nice holiday and so that's also something to note so that's my thoughts on bali i'm really excited to be leaving this place usually i get sad and sentimental before leaving a place but bali is one of the first times in a while that i cannot wait to leave and maybe i'll up give you guys an update from south korea where i'm going to be tomorrow Bye, guys. Thanks for listening.